Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 10 of Sakurako and this episode things are starting to get intense. Like it's starting to hit the, you know, there's only 12 episodes in the season so this is episode 10 so two more episodes after this one and pretty much everything is starting to go down. This is like the big point where we're starting to go into that plot that we were talking about with Sakurako and everything and it starts off like a simple case, you know, and everything. It seems like the girl, um, Hito, which is um, Isozaki's, what's it called, um, one of his students before. Oh, that's another thing we learned that Isozaki, yeah, he did have someone pass away and he couldn't do anything about it, commit suicide. Or they think, I don't know, she's still missing. And that is the whole point with the thing at the festival and everything that we learned about him. So that's his reasoning and everything. And um, pretty much... One of the girls, there's like three of them, the one that commits suicide, obviously, after that, the other two girls were never the same, but Hito, all of a sudden, is gone, she, her parents can't find her, so they go to the parents' house, and it seems like at first, it's just the parents are like strict, don't care really about what's going on with their daughter's life kind of thing, and it did make me sick, just like Sakurako said, I was like, geez, what kind of parents are these, you know, they don't know anything about her really, and... It's like, it kind of makes you think like, oh, it's no surprise. You probably just ran away from home because, come on, look at the look at the parents, really. The dad, instead of calling the police to try to figure out, the dad doesn't want to, you know, he cares more about his appearance and everything about what's going on. He doesn't want to stain his appearance kind of thing, you know? So I was like, geez, really? Are you kidding me? But yeah, um, pretty much they go and figure it out. They, they don't really figure anything out at that point, but things start to get more and more, you know, crazy by finding out about Minami, who's the other girl, and they go to look, go to her house and everything, and that booty scene, though, when she's, like, down there trying to grab the painting underneath the bed, and we just see Shotaro, like, dang, that booty is mine, that's pretty much what he was doing, but yeah, other than that fan service booty shot right there. Um, she pulls out a painting and guess what it is it's just like the painting that we saw at that one guy's house before the one with the butterflies and everything and that's what one of the big things that we've seen in this like at the very beginning we see all these butterflies on the body I did not know that butterflies are um, you know besides nectar and stuff they go to rotten fruit and corpses like especially that type of butterfly I was like whoa really learn something new every day huh and that's what's so prevalent about um, what's so big about that butterfly that type of butterfly because that was in the painting and that was also in the painting of Minami's one that she pretty much um you know that painting that was under her bed so it was like oh okay something has to do with this and we see like a little thing of seems the guy's name is Hanabusa and he's been doing it with the, like the other girls as well so it might be a like he gave her something to get out her cr chrysalis whatever the thing you know that the caterpillar goes into and then psh, butterfly but um and he's got these girls like <laughs> pretty much just eating out of his hand and he's i don't know what's his reasoning yet and it also seems like at the end this is the case that um you know um, sakurako has been looking at and everything the unsolved case and everything so it's like everything is starting to connect finally we finally see our main you know antagonist and everything in this you know really shown as the bad guy doing these things to these girls and everything that's probably what happened to the other girl that's probably what hap is happening to Hito um, Minami and everything right now they had like a you know they try to get Minami to speak up more and we see we do learn a little bit more of that and right at the mo at the moment um, Sakurako is letting Minami pretty much stay at her house because she wants more answers and everything and she even invites Shoto to come over for breakfast and he's like all happy like a you know like oh she's this is for the first time she's invited me so we see a little bit of that you know him obviously so happy because now he finally is like senpai's finally noticing me kind of stuff you know thing going on and it also is like he's like he's also like this is the first time he doesn't know what's going on in her head right now and yeah that's the big thing what i don't know what she's planning sakurako's planning but she has that book and it had a bunch of stuff to do with like the butterfly and this other stuff. So it's probably the case, the unsolved case, is the thing with this Hanabusa guy. And we're probably going to learn more about it in the next episode. But yeah, overall, 
that was pretty much the episode. It was the start of this probably three episode arc kind of thing to finish the season. And everything, the big thing, the big main plot that we've been looking at that's been trickling in throughout the episodes, showing off. You know, we have a case, 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 and after every case, there's always a little bit of Sakurako's past, a little bit of something, something of that. And now it's all finally being put together. We see that this is, I'm pretty sure this is the unsolved case thing that she was looking at and talked to the guy at the hospital. And th things are going to start to connect and everything. Maybe more stuff we'll learn in the next episode about Shotaro and his connection and everything. But yeah, things are starting to get really intense and really interesting. And I honestly just can't wait to see the next episode. Really, like, every episode I've been thinking, oh, new case, new case. But this one is finally, like... I've enjoyed every single episode and all these new different things, but this episode was really the one that I was like, holy crap, everything's finally being put in, everything's finally, we're seeing all this stuff about Sakurako's past, the main plot of this story, and honestly, I'm just here just like waiting, please be next week already, <laughs> but yeah, that's all I really got to say guys, so hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion and review, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, if there's anything I missed you want to talk about, comment below as well, and until next time guys, see yeah.